Two dozen pro-pot protesters marched into the Aurora Mall today. They were responding to a man stopped in the mall because he wore a Yes We Cannabis t-shirt. The protesters also wore t-shirts with a marijuana message, wondering how the mall would react this time. CBS 4's Howard Nathan is live in Aurora tonight. Okay, Howard, how did the mall respond? Well, Kathy, the mall took a hands-off approach to the site of all those protesters and their cannabis message, those cannabis t-shirts, but much different compared to last weekend when one man walked into the mall with his own marijuana message. Yes, we cannabis on a poster. No response by the Aurora Mall. But the same pro-marijuana statement on a t-shirt last weekend. He tried to say it was offensive. Jake Gailey admits to getting loud when mall management told him his wordplay on the president's campaign slogan had to be removed or turned inside out. This mall is somewhat repressive and is uh, hassling its, its uh, patrons based on what they wear. Aurora police dropped disturbing the peace charges in exchange for Gailey being banned from the mall for a year. I was livid. Gailey's mother joined protesters complaining about her son being stopped because of his t-shirt. They want marijuana to be decriminalized and wore t-shirts showing a check mark for marijuana which they say is safer than beer. To me it would be just like any political cause. They cannot ban a t-shirt and it certainly isn't obscene and it is not controversial. Conduct rules at the mall warn customers about non-offensive attire or wearing clothing that might lead to violence or conflict. I asked him so if I buy a hat with a marijuana leaf in Spencer's I can't wear it into the mall and he said no. Spencer's told me customers and employees are prevented from displaying its obviously vulgar merchandise into the mall. But the pro-marijuana users say the mall is being hypocritical if it allows you to buy what you cannot wear. Um, you can buy marijuana t-shirts, marijuana belts, keychains, all that stuff, but you know they make a stink when somebody wears that. The mall's management said it would respond in writing to the side of all those protesters. As of now, we're still waiting. Perhaps tomorrow we'll hear from the mall. In Aurora, Howard Nathans, CBS4 News. Back to you. All right, Howard, thank you. And Gailey's attorney is considering a lawsuit. He says his client deserves an apology. The ban should be rescinded, and he wants them all to agree that marijuana-themed T-shirts are acceptable.